Hi guys, my name is Jason Nielsen and today I am going to be teaching you how to draw an apple. So drawing an apple is super easy. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to draw a circle along with a little circle inside of the bigger circle and you're going to figure out where you're going to put your stem. So this is around an eight minute video that has been times up by two, so it's about four minutes long. So you'll see how to draw an apple in about four minutes. So this should roughly take you about 10 minutes. So the point of the apple is to figure out where you are going to put your point of light. Now every object, whenever you're drawing it, has a point of light. And basically what that means is it has reflection. That means wherever the light is bouncing off of the apple, you're going to have shadows on the other side of the apple. So as long as you can dictate where you're going to put your point of light, your shadow should be on the other side. So after a little bit of shading, I'm going to figure out where my light is going to reflect off of my apple, and I'm going to start filling in those little details. Apples are really fun to draw because they have a lot of details in their skin, and if you notice on the skin of an apple, it goes in like a circular motion starting at the tip where the stem goes and warps out and it's really beautiful to draw. Moving right along I'm going to notice that the shadows are on the other side of the apple so I'm going to start making that side a little bit darker. I'm going to start stemming in <laughs> stemming in the stem and I'm using a piece of tissue I'm going to start shading the apple to make it look a little bit darker. Now the point on the paper is just a reference for me to figure out where my camera is lying, so don't worry about those points. The materials I am using for this drawing is a General's Charcoal Soft Pencil in black, as well as a General's Charcoal White Pencil in obviously white. Okay, moving right along, I'm going to start keep shading in the apple, and I'm going to use my kneaded eraser to start pulling out the highlights. A kneaded eraser is awesome because you can mold it into any shape you need to get the fine details in like say the skin of an apple or hair or fur or whatever your mind wants to draw. So the trick is when you're using a kneaded eraser, you're gonna start tapping. And whenever I tap on the paper, it's gonna grab that graphite and it's gonna pull it right back off. So it's a beautiful way to lift the graphite without smudging or really tearing the paper. And so what I mean by that is when you look at a piece of paper, like say a computer paper, the skin, and when, I'm, when I say skin, the, the skin on the surface of the paper is flat, but whenever you buy a specially made paper for artists, it's going to have something called a tooth. And what I mean by that is your paper has teeth on it, and those teeth are little grooves that are going to catch the graphite whenever it's coming off of your, your pencil. So you're going to want to make sure you have the right paper and the right materials to do this kind of stuff. Because if you use a basic computer paper, your tooth is not going to catch the graphite from your pencil. And I mean, why not make your drawing even better, right? Now that I'm building the base of the apple, I'm just going to highlight where I think the shadows are in this apple. So I'm just going to use my pencil and start filling those in. What I would recommend if you want to start out sketching stuff like apples or any still life products, you should get a sketchbook. And the sketchbook should have grooves or teeth in their paper to help you catch that graphite. The more and more you practice, and the more and more you get used to the teeth on your paper, the better your art is going to come out. And like with everything, you need to just practice. So just practice, trial and error, and make your work even better. I know that this is not the most perfect apple drawing in the world. This only took like, a, this is probably like a 10 minute video, sped up to like four minutes. So, I mean... If I would have spent 30 to 45 minutes on this apple, it would obviously look a lot better, but this is just, you know, a quick sketch to get it out into the world on how to draw an apple. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can look me up at Jason Nielsen Artist. I'm on all the social medias, and I'm going to start showing you all how to draw. Thank you. Have a good day.